Hi, this is Tracy HD. I want to thank you for joining me for our September 2018 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Pisces. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And at the beginning of the month, I'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And at the end of the month, I'll take a card from the bottom. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the King of Cups. Okay, and as you know, the cups are our emotions. Okay, and this may be a person in your life or could be an energy in the beginning of the month. Um, this is the kind of person that could be very passive aggressive. I mean, he does uh, identify with his emotions more than the other kings. However, you know, he's a very concerned and considerate person, but he kind of lacks drive and ambition. He's not a very forceful or pushy person. So in the middle of the month, okay, you may be dealing with someone like this, or it could possibly be the way you're feeling as well, where maybe you need to be on the lookout for your lacking drive and ambition. Maybe you're going to need to push yourself a little harder. Um, but this is also telling us to you know, make sure we're not being passive aggressive either. Um, and then in the middle of the month, we have the Four of Pentacles. And this is a person who's holding on so tightly to what he has because he's fearing that he's going to lose something. But this card's telling us we don't, have to, we don't have to hold on that tightly, okay? This is the card of the miser. This is someone who's going to hoard their money instead of enjoying it, okay? And there's no need for that. OK, you're you're worried that you're going to lose something and you don't have to worry about it. You could loosen your grip on whatever it is. OK, um, this here is you're, you're feeling the need, like maybe feeling like a little bit insecure in the middle of the month. OK, and maybe you don't feel like sharing what you have with other people. But you know what? There's an even flow of give and take in our lives. And if we hold on too tightly and we don't give to others, we're not going to receive either. So this is telling you that, you know, maybe you're being too focused on your financial matters or your work situation at this time. OK, and you don't have to be. There's, there's no need to cling that tightly to whatever it is that you're holding on with your dear might. OK, and then at the end of the month, the, the energy lightens up so much better. We have the three of cups. And this could possibly be maybe an invitation to a wedding or, you know, like maybe a, a baby shower or christening. Whatever it is, is you're feeling successful, okay? And you want to celebrate, okay? Here you didn't want to celebrate. You were holding on too, you know, tightly. We all do that. We all feel senses of insecurity from time to time. There's no need to. Right here, the... the Three of Cups is where you're feeling abundant. You have all this beautiful fruit down here. There's grapes and all of these cups are overflowing. Uh, this one here is actually spilling over, it looks like. Oh, no, that's her arm. <laughs> that's her arm. But you could tell that she's like feeling such a sense of peace. Okay. And she's feeling like she wants to celebrate maybe with a small group of people. Okay. So I would, you know, feel the sense of celebration at the end of the month that the month may seem a little emotional in the beginning, okay? And then you're kind of clinging to something because you feel insecure, like you might lose it, but you don't have to cling so tightly, loosen your grasp on whatever it is, because by the end of the month, you're not going to be worried, okay? You're going to feel abundant. This here, it's like you're feeling the scarcity mentality, maybe like you don't have enough or you need more. By the end of the month, that is going to lighten up. You're going to feel abundant. You're going to feel like celebrating, like I said, maybe a possible get together, you know, uh, or maybe finally a finding a fulfillment in a relationship that you've been in. Okay. But you're going to be feeling emotionally fulfilled and ready to celebrate by the end of the month. So what a beautiful energy to end the month on. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.